I've chosen. Of course. I've chosen. Is you stupid? Oh, good, thanks. It's a really strange relationship in the TARDIS, I suppose, because, um, you know, Amy's been off with the Doctor for a while. She's also been obsessed with, with the idea of this Doctor for the, you know, for the whole of her life. Can I come? I'm not safe in here, not yet. Five minutes. Give me five minutes, I'll be right back. Rory's always felt threatened by that and has tried to, you know, himself be that person for her. Uh, I'm not having him run around telling people he's your fiance. No, no, you're right. Thank you. As soon as the doctor comes, comes and you know whisks him away and whisks her away, you know, in Rory's mind, he doesn't know he doesn't know what space to fill. You hate it when he does that. I don't think he can't be that exciting person for her because he could never. He can never be as exciting as the doctor. And also, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's worried about, you know, fancying him or, or whatever, or just wanting to be with the doctor more than, more than with him. We think we just saw a vampire. Yeah, 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 I know. Amy was just telling me. Yeah, yeah, the doctor actually went to their house. Oh, right. But there's also the, the anger of, of the doctor putting Amy in these situations where, you know, her life is, you know, is at stake. <laughs> Should be okay. Where are you? Amy, come back! You know, as far as Rory's concerned, he'd know. He, you know, he would do anything to protect her, and it's, it feels to, to him. You know, the doctor doesn't really care that. You know, he says he cares about her, but actually, he puts her in. You know, he puts her in these absolutely terrible situations. Oh my God! They've moved. 